Hello students, in this session, let us solve a question on shear stressing. Consider a simply spotted beam of length 50h with a rectangular cross section of depth h and width 2h. The beam carries a vertical point load P at its midpoint. The ratio of maximum shear stress to the maximum bending stress in the beam is this we have to find out, right? So, there is a simply spotted beam. Simply spotted beam is there. The length of the beam is given 50 times h. h is certain parameter and 50 times h is the length of this beam. This is rectangular cross section and depth of that cross section is h and width is 2h. The beam carries a vertical point load P at the center. At the center, it is carrying a vertical point load. We have to find the ratio of maximum shear stress and maximum bending stress in the beam. So in this question, we have to find out both maximum shear stress as well as maximum bending stress. So this is basically the question of combined bending stresses and shear stresses, right? This question was asked in J2014. So let us solve this question. This question is of simply supported beam with a point load. Simply supported beam is there and a point load P is applied. The height is given h which is depth and width is 2 times h, double of the height, right, 2h. So this is a cross section of the beam, this is 2h square is the area of cross section of this beam. The length is 50 times the height, that is 50h and p load is applied at the center. We have to find out the ratio of maximum shear stress to the maximum bending stresses, right. So, uh, first of all, we know that the for any section, for any section, how the bending stress and shear stress varies, you should know that. We know that the bending stress are maximum at the outer fiber. If this is outer fiber, if this is outer fiber, bending stress will be maximum at the outer fiber and it varies linearly. It varies linearly like this, right. So, this is the bending stress. This is sigma max at the outer fiber from the neutral axis, right? Sigma max. And the shear stress varies parabolically. You know that shear stress varies parabolically like this, and it is maximum at the center. Maximum at the center. So this is our shear stress. It is zero at the outer fiber and it is maximum, it is maximum at the center, neutral axis, right. So we know that we have to find out tau max as sigma max, but how the tau max varies with shear force? We know that tau is equal to F A Y bar by I B. So shear stress is proportional to F, shear stress is proportional to F, higher the shear stress higher the shear force, higher will be the shear stresses. So first we have to find out what is the maximum value of shear force in this uh, length, entire length. And that maximum value of shear force will be used here to find out the maximum shear stress. And we know from the bending equation that m by i, sigma by y, e by r, that bending stress is given by m y by i. And it depends upon the bending moment and it is proportional to bending moment. Higher the bending moment, higher will be the bending stresses. So bending stresses will be maximum where the bending moment is maximum. So first we have to find out the maximum bending moment and maximum bend, uh, shear force, right? So we have to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram of this simply spotted beam. This we have already done in our shear force and bending moment diagram chapter. We have already drawn these two things. I am directly drawing the diagram, uh, shear force diagram. So this is A, this is B and say this is center C point C. So shear force varies like this. This is P by 2 value, this is P by 2 value, half of the load and it is uniform for this section, it is positive according to sign convention and then there is abrupt change because there is a load P applied and then it is constant for the entire section from A to C and then C to B. This is negative part, right? This is again P by 2. So this is P by 2. So any at every point, the shear force is P by 2, right? So this is uniform. 
positive or negative that doesn't matter magnitude is p by 2 at every section so f max is p by 2 so one thing we know that shear, maximum shear stress is p by 2 right this we will use in our equation to get the maximum shear stress right now what is bending moment for this diagram you can draw the bending moment it will be a linear variation linear variation from a to c and then from c to b from 0 to maximum and then from maximum to 0 so variation will be like this like this right and this point will be the maximum bending moment point this is m max and its magnitude is pl by 4 pl by 4 or when we were doing this the shear force bending moment diagram we have taken it w so it was w l by 4 right so it is p l by 4 is the maximum bending moment at the center right so m max is basically m max that is p l by 4 right and we know that the we have to find out tau max so it is parabolic variation it is difficult to find out but we know the formula for a rectangle that tau max is 1.5 times the tau average so tau max is tau max is 3 by 2 times tau average this is known to us that tau max is 3 by 2 tau average and what is tau average tau average that is equal to force upon area that is p upon 2 because force is our p by 2 that is of f max by area right so we can use this so tau max will be equal to 3 by 2 times p by 2 multiplied by area area is 2 h square so it will come out to be 3 by 8 3 p by 8 h square right so this is the tau max this is tau max that is 3 by 8 3p by 8h square right now we have to find out the maximum bending stresses right so maximum bending stresses can be find out from the that's moment equation m by i sigma by y e by r bending equation and from here we can find out sigma max sigma max will be equal to m max y max by i m taking the maximum bending moment which is at the center pl by 4 y max is the maximum stress which is at the outer fiber that is h by 2 right and i so that will be equal to m max is known to us pl by 4 y max is the half of this because outer fiber is at h by 2 distance so this is h by 2 divided by i i is bd cube by 12 so b is 2h d is h cube by 12 so this is moment of inertia so from here we can find out sigma max and sigma max will come out to be that is 75 p 75 p by 2 h square solve it and you will get this value right so we have obtained sigma max and tau max tau max was 3 p by 8 h square sigma max was this put this value in this equation which we have to find out so tau max by shear stress sigma max will be equal to tau max by sigma max ratio can we find out using this value that is 3p by 8h square divided by uh, 75p by 2h square p and h square will cancel out only numerical value will be left and when you solve it you will get the value as 0 0.01 0 0.01 so the ratio ratio of sigma tau max to sigma max come out to be 0 0.01 right so this is a ratio of two uh, stresses shear stresses and bending stresses and this is option d this is option d so this is the answer of this question right